What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lady Sassy, and we are back with another video. Up, throw up the sex in the, uh -huh. and I can like, oh my god, it's been like a good almost a year before I posted another video, but it's gonna be something a little different. Um, this is actually going to be episode one of my podcast, Oba Honey the Shenanigans. Um, Oba Honey the Shenanigans started out as an audio only podcast and it was on Bread Circle. Um, I had a lot of downloads from there and you know that was on like Apple Music and it's on like other stuff that it was you know spread out to or whatever but I felt like why not create a visual for Oba Honey the Shenanigans. Um, so yeah episode one we're gonna be talking about <laughs> let's see what we're gonna be talking about for episode one what I'm gonna do is start the podcast off with three captions like captions that you can use for Instagram captions that you can just use for Facebook put whatever so it's just something a little bit different I'm just gonna choose the first three that I feel like that pokes out to me all right so the first one is you lose me, you still gonna be misfortunate. Um, I believe the second one, I put the real out, but you wouldn't bite it. Yeah, I really like that one. I put the real out, but you wouldn't bite it. Now you can use that for actual real, or you can use that for like a pictures and like you know, the real out with the bait. But baby, you ain't bite it. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I'm the bait. <laughs> you gotta catch me. Oh my God. Wow. And the third one, little dog with the big bark, deception. Like, baby, y'all can look at me and think I'm a little dog all y'all want to. All y'all want to. But he's fast gonna speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, so again, the three was, you lose me, you still gonna be misfortunate. I put the reel out, but you wouldn't bite it. Um... A little dog with a big bark deception. So those are the three captions that I'm going to start off with. Today's topic of the day, or today's for today's episode of the day, it is going to be, let's talk about knowing your red flags. That's what we're going to do. Knowing your red flags. Like, okay, let's, let's start it off by asking a question. It's like, do you know your own red flags? I, you know. I had somebody ask me that. Somebody asked me what was my red flag. I really couldn't tell them because it's like you don't really think about it. Like you, of course, if you ask somebody like, or of course you see something, you're going to be like, oh yeah, that's a red flag. But like, what are your own red flags? I feel like my, one of my red flags would be, I think one of my red flags is I feel like I know what I want, but I don't think I truly know what I want. I think that's a red flag because obviously you should know what you want. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, it's just like you can say all day long what you want. But then when you get it, you're like, mm, I don't think I want that baby. Back up, back up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to give you all an example. <laughs> I want somebody who's a good communicator. I want someone who's affectionate. I want someone who's all about me. I want someone who's all about me. Fine. Oh, oh, and I, I said I wanted somebody that knows what he wants. Okay. This guy, he, he knew what he wanted. But at the same time, like, I feel like he was moving a little bit too quick. But it's like, at the same time, it's like, you said, girl, you said you know what you wanted. But now you got somebody who nobody wants and he moving quick and you like, uh-uh, that's not what you want. So what do you want? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that next following week, baby was talking about we was exclusive. Like, we talking exclusively. Who's talking exclusively? I don't even know you. I barely know your name, sir. <laughs> Who's talking exclusively? The week? The week after? So you're telling me a week and three days, we talking exclusively. How do you know if you even like me for real? You know what I'm saying? Like, we just only got one time and you... How do you know you like me for real? Yeah, I should have took that as a red flag. Or maybe it's not a red flag. But I feel like that was a red flag for me. 
but I, I, baby, it was, it was yellow. It was yellow. It wasn't all the way red. It wasn't all the way red. Like it was, it was green turning yellow. You know what I'm saying? He told me when we met on day three that, you know, he just, he just wanted to be friends. He just wanted to vibe. We could be friends. And I'm like, who's, you keep saying we're talking. We're not talking. Like we're, we're friends that are getting to know each other. You said you wanted to be friends and that's what we're doing. We're building a friendship. What's the disconnect? Where's the disconnect? How are we disconnecting right now? We, me and you, we didn't agree on this. Blah, 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 bada boom, bada bang. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Because what? Who? It's been three weeks. And for two weeks, you've been telling me we've been talking exclusively to and we were not. He said my red flags were I lack emotional responsibility, and which I don't feel like that's true. See, I be saying I be wanting people to know, wanting the dudes to know what they want. But that right there, that was just a no-no to me. That was a no-no to me. So then after that, and I really started questioning myself like, do I really know what I want? Do I really know what I want? Because... I had that and didn't like it. You see what I'm saying? Like, you see where I'm coming from now? Like, I had that, but I didn't like it. But I've also had someone to do less than that and didn't like it. So, that's why I said, like, one of my red flags is thinking I know what I want, but not really knowing what I want. Um, I think another red flag for me would be communication. And I'm not saying communication as in, I don't know how to express myself, but I'm really like, I'm not going to argue. I'm going to say what I got to say and I'm going to leave it at that. The moment you raise your voice, I'm not listening. Because at the point where you raising your voice, we don't have nothing to, we don't have nothing to communicate about. We don't have nothing to communicate about. Like, if you can't have a civilized conversation where we're both speaking calmly to each other, there's nothing to talk about at this moment. So what I would do, I would remove myself from the situation until you feel like you, you can handle that. You can handle a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Because I just feel like like when you're when you're raising your voice and stuff like that, like nothing is getting across. Like you're not gonna hear me and I'm not gonna hear you. And that's just that. Like I'm not gonna listen to it. Like, so no, I'm not gonna tell you how I feel in that moment because you're not, you're not, we're not listening. We're not on the same page right now. You're not going to listen to me. We're just going to be talking over each other. So that's why I say like I have a problem with communication. Like, and I also have a, a problem with the way, the way I say stuff and the tone that I have when I say stuff. Like I have a really strong personality. But the way I say stuff sometimes can come off like I'm being, being a bit, you know, rude or aggressive. And I'm not. It's just me trying to have a conversation with you. Like I don't like to argue. And I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to argue. You, ugh. We're real passionate. You really can't know your red flags unless someone like points out your red flags. And I don't know if that's a red flag. You know, not knowing my red flags. Is that a red flag? Maybe. <laughs> but I would say like this episode one of <laughs> Do You Know Your Red Flags? Like some stuff I just feel like you're not going to know unless someone points that stuff out to you. You get what I'm saying? Like, but at the same time, like, does you not knowing your red flag? make that a red flag like I need to hear y'all thoughts on this like I really need to hear y'all thoughts on this because like is that a red flag that I don't know truly know my red flags like I know two but I don't really know my red like you was to sit here and ask me what are my red flags I don't know like I can say communication thinking I thinking I want something but not knowing truly what I want that may be that may be a red flag but I don't know. I would love to hear y'all thoughts below. So like, comment, hit the subscribe button, share. Let me know, like, do you know your red flags? And then if you don't know your red flags, like, does that make it, does that make it a red flag that you don't know your red flags? Like, but yeah, so <laughs> that's it for this video. Um, it was just a episode one of do you know your red flags or 
I would use the first part as like how to identify like red flags from someone. We're gonna start the podcast with three captions and then we're gonna end the podcast with the question of the day. So the question of the day is do you know your red flags? And if you don't know your red flags, does that make that a red flag that you don't know your red flags? I'm recording this on Christmas, but y'all will get this video for New Year's. So in advance, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year's. I wish you all the best for 2024. I wish you nothing but blessings. I'm going to wish all of you become money magnets. Money flows to you abundantly. Whatever big God going to do for you in 2024, it's going to be big. That's all I heard. It's going to be big. That's all I heard. It's time for new beginnings. It's time for new beginnings. It's time to reset. It's time to refocus. It's time to regain strength. Like 2024 is going to be your year. It's going to be my year. It's going to be all of our year. And I know we say that every year. But that's okay because we need every year to be our year. And if they got a problem with that, send them to Lady Stats. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's it for this video, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm going to try to do like a weekly podcast or a weekly like come sit down and talk with me. I don't know if I should call it like a podcast or episode one of come talk with lady stats or come talk with me or whatever like it's just a chill setting in the bedroom like i said once i move it'll be a whole different setup i'm gonna be in my woman cave um it's gonna be a whole vibe in there i'm gonna be able to record more videos so make sure y'all stay tuned for that 2024 like i said this video will be posted on new year's so thank you we back and the cup with my twins see me <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>